Hey guys, enter the stars. And we all know that a one world currency is an inevitability. And so I thought we would dig into this a little further. Understanding that Pope Francis will be coming to New York City on the 24th of September. As you can see here in his schedule. So I thought to find answers, we need to dig deeper. We need to speak these people's language. We need to look at the ancient Roman festivals. The same Roman festivals that have exposed many of their dark doings on this channel. Many of the same festivals that are linked to our own American holiday system. So I looked at the festivals of September in the Roman tradition. And this is what I found. I was simply floored. The 20th through the 23rd are set aside for markets and fairs. Mercatus. This is everything we've been talking about, about Mercury being the 88-day cycle around the sun. And from Mercury, the god of commerce, all of our money system was developed. Also, the 23rd is the anniversary of the rededication of the temple of Apollo. Latona was also honored. This is Latona, and she was a she-wolf. She sought out the wolf country of Lycia, lichen meaning wolf or werewolf, which she renamed to honor wolves that had befriended her for her denning. Another source wrote, she links Leda with wolves and Hyperboreans Wolves are not easily delivered of their young, only after 12 days and 12 nights. For the people of Delos maintain that this was the length of time that it took Leto to travel from Hyperborei to Delos. So there are strong connections with this September 23rd date and Leto. So we have Leto, the she-wolf. We have Mercatus, commerce, money marketing, fairs. We also have the dedication of the Temple of Apollo, pictured here at Campus Martius. So why is Apollo important? Because Apollo is the sun god, the unconquered sun, soul invictus, the very character from which the Statue of Liberty was fashioned. Lady Liberty, Soul Invictus, as you can see here. I did a video on Soul Invictus. It's called Soul Invictus or Merry Christmas. That video was taken down because people were offended by the fact that I exposed Christmas and I exposed the Statue of Liberty. But here it is in black and white letters. This deity, Sol Invictus, is associated with Apollo. And the birthday of this deity falls on Christmas Day. Yet in this Wikipedia article, they deny the association of Christmas to this sun god, Sol Invictus. And as you can see, this is our Statue of Liberty. So now we begin to understand with the new Freedom Tower, the new center of money. This is in fact the christening of the new one world money system that is soon to come. We also understand now that the visit of the Pope on the 24th to New York City, as we see here in a schedule, converted from the Gregorian to the Julian calendar this is the calendar they go by, is 9-11. And that is when they will be entering New York City the following morning to visit the 9-11 Memorial Museum and World Trade Center. A rainbow can only be viewed at 42 degrees. I'll say that again. A rainbow can only be viewed at 42 degrees and 42 years after the World Trade Center opened in 1973, we have the Freedom Tower with a rainbow 
appearing over it. One day before 9-11. And this is everything we've been talking about, you guys. The wolves, Lupercalia, Sol Invictus, all coming to a head with the arrival of the Pope. And as I've always told you guys, it's time to come out of the beast system. The money is built on sinking sand. Take care and be safe.